Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I thought I'd come on with another weight update for you all. So today is Saturday the 27th of April 2019 and as you can see I have a smile on my face, that means that I've done well. Um, so this week I managed to lose a pound, so you have the picture probably overlaid over the top of this already. So I'm now currently weighing 13 stone 9 pounds. So we can safely say that my food diary has obviously made a difference. <laughs> a little bit of a difference. Now, to be honest, I'll get straight to it. I don't think I should have lost weight. I don't deserve to have lost weight this week. Now, the reason being is that even though I have my food diary and I filled it in every single day, I went over my seams a lot. Now, what I kind of decided to do was I wanted to see what was going on really. I wanted to write everything down that I was having because I wasn't doing that so much before. I was kind of, I was putting it on my fitness pal and I was getting a bit lazy with it. I couldn't be bothered and I just ended up not doing it, which is why I bought the food diary. Um, so I felt that I needed to kind of rein it back in again. But I didn't, well, I tried to stick with the inseams, but it all went very pear-shaped. I think because of Easter and I had some chocolate and it just went so wrong. <laughs> um, I basically went over my seams by 120 seams, which is an awful lot, which makes me wonder how on earth I've even lost a pound of weight. I've got no idea whatsoever. It shouldn't have happened. But it has happened and I'm quite pleased, but that makes me worried obviously for next week because sometimes these things show the following week. So I don't really know if it's because of Star Week maybe because that ended and maybe I've had the loss because of that or maybe it might have even have been more if I'd kept to my sins. But as it happens, I've lost, but God knows what will be next week. <laughs> um, so yeah. So I've written some stuff down, so if you see me looking down, it's because I've got my food diary and stuff down here, because I've just made like little notes. But um, mainly, like, because I was writing down the scenes, I think my main issue probably is that I feel quite tired when I'm at work, so I find, probably because it's a desk job, you know, I think most people probably have a similar, well, people who have a desk job have a similar situation that they kind of munch away at their desk you know and I feel that that might be a slight issue because I kind of munch away at my desk and I'm doing it because I'm probably bored and tired and really I shouldn't be eating so I kind of made a note every day of like how much sleep I was having and some of the nights I'm like only getting like six hours sleep which could be why I'm kind of struggling a little bit at work maybe I don't know but um I probably need to rethink that and try and get at least eight hours sleep if I can. I think that may make a little bit of a difference, but mostly that at, at work, that's basically what is happening. Um, Steps-wise, I also made a note of my steps, and my steps have definitely increased quite a bit. So, I mean, not a huge amount, but I'm getting up to like 6,000-ish every day near enough getting close to that so I'm quite pleased with that because I'm not really one for walking I'm a bit lazy when it comes to walking <laughs> and any exercise whatsoever so that is a good sign so I have to keep that up um maybe even try a little bit more I don't know I might even think about getting like walking further I don't know who <laughs> we'll have to see maybe walking in my lunch break as well possibly I don't know so yeah so that is good let's have a little look at what else I've written so I've written a load of stuff down so um yeah so I had a little issue as well with cider I had a couple of ciders this week which they're really high seamed they're a bit too much high seamed for my liking they're like 13 and a half seams for a bottle so yeah, I think that was the other problem. Maybe if I wasn't having the cider, I might have lost <laughs> a little bit more weight. And I also had some Tia Maria. I found some Tia Maria, so I thought I'd have that in my coffee. So I've been having that as well. So that could be another issue. I don't know. I'll have to rethink that. The Tia Maria isn't that bad, actually, because you can have, like, 
it's like three and a half things for 35 milliliters of it so in coffee you only have like a little bit so it's actually not bad value sim wise so i kind of recommend that actually it's not maybe the cider isn't but the tiamaru isn't too bad so that was the other thing uh what else so yeah, I made a decision that whatever I was going to eat was going to be marked down sim-wise anyway because I just felt I needed to see what was going on, which I felt like I did quite well. I literally noted every single thing down. So every time that I ate something, straight away I put it down in my food diary and I was making sure I was putting everything down. I feel that maybe my speed might need to increase a little bit. But there was a lot of times when I'm having things like veggie curry and the majority of it was vegetables. I think there was like a little bit of potato in one of them. But I felt like I sort of covered the speed wise, but maybe I should have had less rice or something. So I feel like that could have been a bit better. But um, yeah, so that's kind of it really on kind of what happened in the week. I do want to mention actually, um, about something I've been listening to for the past two weeks. So I've been taking the bus like kind of in the morning and sometimes in the evening. And I've been listening to this podcast, which I think a lot of people have probably already mentioned it, but it's a Slimming World one. And it is so good. I've kind of listened to all of them now, but I have it that it wakes me up in the morning and I listen to it a little bit in the morning. And then when I walk to the bus stop and while I'm on the bus, I tend to listen to the whole podcast. But there's one every kind of Monday. So it really kind of helps like to give you a little bit of inspiration and keep you going. So if anyone is struggling, um, in between like going to group and stuff have a listen, little listen to the podcast um, I found it on Google uh, podcast I downloaded the podcast program but I think that if, you, if you've got Android you can do that if not I believe that Apple as well you can download it and listen to it on your Apple iPhone or iPod whatever you've got but yeah I can definitely say that it's like really good and it's really funny. I find them really funny in the two ladies that do it. Um, so I know that it's been mentioned, quite a few people have mentioned it. I think Debbie has mentioned it and I believe that, I think Sarah, I think it's Sarah SW mentioned it as well. So yeah, it's um, really good to listen to, you know, really enjoyable. You get ideas and tips and, you know, worth listening to if you're doing slimming world and you're struggling or even if you're not struggling i think it's just like so positive to listen to it will make you feel kind of in the mood and to keep you spurred on and to keep you going so yeah um i'll link down they've got an instagram account so i'll link that down below for you so yeah i'll do that um not really much else to say other than this week my aim I've aimed again to lose another pound, but I don't know if that's going to happen. <laughs> we shall see. Um, but I worry about what will happen next week because of what happened this week. So it could be a knockback. Well, not back, but it could be like the chocolate that I ate this week could make me gain next week. Who knows? So um, I'm going to continue writing down my sins for this week, but I'm kind of going to try and stick as much as possible to it. But if I can't, I can't. I'm just going to try to because I've... You know, I've never been very good with scenes, so I always seem to struggle a little bit. Um, but I'll try my best. But I think even if I'm writing it down, it'll probably stop me going really over, because I could have gone majorly over, I think, if I hadn't written it down. And I think that's probably what stopped me like going majorly over. Um, I'll keep doing that. I'm gonna try and get more sleep this week. I'm gonna see if that makes a difference. And, uh, yeah, that's it really. I might be seeing my friend on Wednesday. I'm not really sure. It's not been confirmed. But that is something that I'm going to have to try and be a little bit careful. Because you know, when I get together with my friend, we tend to eat very badly. <laughs> but um, there we go. We will see. Uh, also, I was going to say that I haven't been telling people on here. But I have been trying to, where I can on my Facebook stories I've been putting like trying to every day putting what I'm eating on there so that I'll just do a little picture so you can all see it doesn't really include snacks it's literally only including like my breakfast lunch and dinner that's all I've basically been doing so if anyone is following me on Facebook um, check out my stories I'm trying to do that every day I should really do it on Instagram as well but 
I haven't but I might try and do that from now on because I think that I've got a lot of followers on Instagram as well who do Slimming World and probably that would be beneficial so yeah I'm going to do that too um, I think that's it really I don't think I've got anything else to add <laughs> to be honest so yeah I'm going to end it here so let me know how you're all getting on this week and I will see you next week with another video so take care everyone bye